Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you my recent L3 Waxy Wonders haul. And um, the main reason why I placed this order is for the polypropylene bags. So I go through four by four polypropylene bags like crazy, like crazy. It's, it's crazy how fast I go through them. But at the same time, I do put all of my scent shots that are these kind like this lid, not the two ounce oval ones. I put all of these scent shots in those four by four polypropylene bags. So those are there. And then when I do sell D stash and stuff like that, I, I sell them even in the, the polypropylene bag that I put them in. So anyways, let me just get onto it. Elthy Waxy Wonders is an amazing company. I love the owner. She's so, so sweet. She's super active on her Facebook group. And of course I will always leave the Facebook group, Instagram, and website down below in the description box as well. So let me just jump right in. She, oh, let me give a little bit because it's been a while since I placed an order. So she is, she is both ready to ship. I would say, I guess she is ready to ship. She's pretty much open all the time, but she varies from ready to ship to pre-orders. And then sometimes she even has both going on at the same time and she also does customs so she does custom baggies and custom scoopables so she has a lot of stuff going on you can always pretty much go to her website and find something now like i said it might be ready to ship it might be a pre-order scent shots or clamshells or it might be customs so you never know which what, what you're gonna get but anyway she has a crazy crazy fast turnaround time for her ready to ship she's crazy fast and even for her customs she is still pretty fast but I think I placed I got this order I think in like literally less than a week so anyways let me just jump right into it I did get three samples this first one is apple pills and it smells like it smells like a like a it smells like an apple <laughs> smells like an apple scent so that's a nice apple scent then she has vanilla pear this little cute ghost and this smells really light I do get like a pear scent not so much a vanilla and then sugar cookie in this little flip flop there we go and this one is really light too oh you can smell it better in the bag and it does smell like a sugar cookie in the bag as well so normally with her wax I do like to let it cure about a month at the very least a month before I melt anything this has been my first time getting a doggy bag and my first time getting these shapes I used to only get clamshells but I stopped getting clamshells and I have been getting scent shots so um, first thing I have is this bakery bag in blackberry whipped cream shit aftershave and this is a blend from Carrie but she has she has a YouTube channel but she doesn't post all the time but I'll link her YouTube channel down below she does amazing customs she's she likes everything I would say everything from like big heavy bakery to like fresh and I've seen her melt some floral scents. So she she actually likes a little bit of everything, but she does tend to lean more towards on like the bakery side. But anyway, she had a cust like a massive custom order she did with L3 Roxy Wonders. And L3 Roxy Wonders ended up using a lot of her scents when she did a ready to ship. So this is one of them that when she wrote what she was putting down for her customs, I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. So when I saw it, I definitely wanted to be able to get my hands on it because I love shaving cream scents and I love Blackberry. So that was that. And it was $10 for this bakery bag. Let me move this closer so I don't spill wax everywhere. So I did get a bunch of these flower shapes, whoa, which I normally just put one of these in as a single melt. So I got a bunch of those and then I got a bunch of these bunnies. They're all the same color. I got a bunch of these bunnies and again, these are one that I would just use as a single melt only. And then I got a flip flop. I got bananas and they're pretty thick compared to like the bunny and then compared to the flower they're pretty thick and then I got a paw print 
which I normally cut these paw prints in half. And then a strawberry. And a candy. And the candy I would melt as one. Okay, and then the next things I got are these fluted tarts, and these will be repackaged. But I got this one in Satsuma whipped cream and marshmallow fluff. So I ordered this before I really started to realize that I can't, my stomach can't handle like a creamy citrus scent, but this is how it looks. Oh, my hands smell like shaving cream, so let me smell it out the package. It does, well... It does smell like a creamy orange scent. But when I smell it on cold, it doesn't make my like stomach hurt or anything. I don't know, I definitely have to melt it. But it smells so, so good, which is so weird. Last time I took, I really did take a pregnancy test with one of them, what was it? I think it was like cranberries. Because I literally was like loving cranberries and then like, like literally like two or three days later, I could not melt any cranberry scents at all. And I feel like that's what's happening to me with the orange. Like I used to be able to melt a creamy orange scent and it didn't bother me at all. And now all of a sudden I feel like I cannot, like I cannot melt a creamy orange scent. And it's so weird. It really makes me want to take a test just to make sure. I know it sounds so stupid, but anyways, I would probably melt a whole piece in a 20 watt glade warmer because it has a bigger dish. Or like if I had a warmer that had a bigger dish, I would probably melt it in that one. But in like a 24 watt warmer, I would probably cut it in half because it's pretty big. But it smells really good. It's a, a nice creamy citrus scent and that citrus is really toned down. So if you don't like super strong citrusy scents, you would really like this one. But I really like citrus scents. Oh, I knew there was something I was supposed to get. So I didn't get the scent description for this one. It is Birdcage and I... For some reason, I thought I had everything, but I knew I was missing something. So, anyways, this one smells really good. Like, really, really good. It smells like strawberries. And, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's strawberry. Or maybe is it pink chiffon? Or, I don't know. It smells like, it smells like light and fruity, maybe, I want to say. If I remember to get the scent description, I'll try and put it down below. But that's another really good one. And then this one I had to get two of. I have this in a scuba bowl, but I really, really love this scent. I think this would probably be my hands down favorite, like top five favorite Christmas scents for sure. And it is called Holiday Woods. It's peppermint, vanilla, and a hint of fir trees. And this scent is so good. I got a scuba bowl in it. And I literally almost finished the entire scoopable in the month of December. And I got a big scoopable. It's just really, really good. The fur is perfect because I don't like it when it's too strong. It's just perfect. It's really, really perfect. You can get, you can literally get everything, but everything is blended so well with each other that you don't get one more than the other. You can get the vanilla, which is surprising because sometimes I don't really pick that up. So that is everything that I got as far as the wax. And then for bags, I really needed more 4x4 four, four four polypropylene bags. So for a hundred of these bags, it is $4.75 for a hundred. Okay. And then I got 50 3x3 three three polypropylene bags. And it was $1.90 for, for 50 of these. And the set shots were... The scent shots were $1.75 each, and then the fluted tarts were $3.50 each. So her wax is priced amazing. I, like, I love the pricing of her wax. So this is a 4x4 polypropylene bag, and this is the 3x3. I didn't realize how small they were, but they would be perfect if you want to give someone like a sample of this, and you just want to put it in there. You don't have to like waste this big of a size. Is big of a size um, bag for just a tiny little shape and that's what I was doing because I've been doing I, people have really been so extremely kind and generous to me sending me like random acts of kindness and so I've been sending them back something so I've been using a lot of these bags the four by four so I figured these would be perfect just for like one like one sample but anyways 
Um, these are the size differences so that you could see for yourself because I had no idea what a 3x3 polypropylene size was. So that's the difference. 4x4, four 3x3. Four, three three. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not checked out L3 Waxing Wonders, I definitely think that you should, especially if you want to stock up on polypropylene bags and bakery bags, you can definitely throw in some wax in your order. Her prices are great. And as always, if you try trying a new vendor, you know, stick with a smaller order. That way, you know, you can get to try without having to worry about spending too much. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and have a great day.